Hi, Hiram here. I want to do another test on this Intense Outdoor Gear all-in-one stove. This is the one that uses the fancy heat canisters. I did a test on this where I spread the wick out and I thought it would have enough uh, fuel in it to finish it off, but it turned out that the two-hour canister didn't quite last two hours. So what I did was I went out to my local Dollar Tree store and bought five cans. I'll try to put the weights up here on the screen, this way I guess. They all varied uh, between the five cans. Can number one weighed 134 grams. Can number two weighed 134.1. Three, 127.9. The fourth one, 129.1. And the fifth one, 127.8 grams. So if you take the average of that, it comes out to 130 grams would be the average for one of these cans of fuel with it in it. And I think you can see on the list, if not here, I'll put it down in the text area, how they differ from average from 3 grams to minus 1.4 grams, minus 2.78 grams for the average. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is a duration test on one of these. I'm going to just light it put a timer on it and see what comes up. The first thing I have to do though is see if I can find out how much fuel is actually in one of these canisters. On a can it says that it's a two hour canister 2.8 ounces or 80 grams of uh, fuel. The first one that I emptied out I burned it out and then I took a weight on it and this empty can without a, without a wick in it weighs 49.6 grams or 1.75 ounces. So I'm hoping, you know, can find a difference there. Funny though, I bought five cans of this fancy heat, got them home, the first can I opened up has no wick. The other four do, but this one doesn't. That comes in handy because now I can cut the top off, pour out the uh, fuel that's in it, which is called Oh, this is interesting stuff. Diethyl glycol. I think they call it DEG for short. It's a colorless, practically odorless, poisonous, hydroscopic liquid that has a sweetish taste. Sweetish taste. No, thank you. It's miscible in water, alcohol, ether, acetone, uh, ethyl glycol. It's widely used as a solvent. Can be a contaminant in consumer products. This has resulted in numerous epidemics of poisoning since the early 20th century. This is some wild stuff. I mean, uh, I'll put links down below again where you can find the same stuff that I did. Or even just look up on Wikipedia. Apparently this stuff that's inside here is some wicked you know what. So you got to be careful with it. So what I'm going to do is open this can with a side cutter can opener the good cook can opener. Go one time around. There we go. Oh, the wick's inside. Oh, that really helps. Hmm. I don't know if you can see it. The wick's down in the stuff. So I'm not sure what that'll do as far as... I was going to pour it out and see just how much liquid there is in here. My thoughts are this really came up very small in the can. You could actually take other cans like if you wanted something for a long duration you could punch a hole in through the top and with a turkey baster thing like what I use for uh, measuring my fluids you could just fill these cans up with a little bit more than what it originally had. Okay now there's some on the wick so that doesn't help. It's measuring up to about just short of 60 milliliters. What does 20 milliliters look like? Up to there. I don't know if there'd be 20 milliliters still in this wick. Maybe. But let me write that down. About 60 milliliters. Okay, so 
you can see it's kind of a you know slimy kind of stuff doesn't have any smell to it but I am not tasting it no thank you okay so that's what that is now I think I could take this put it in one of the other canisters and fill them up because when you looked in that one it was only up about maybe that high in the canister okay so let me set this up I'll get my camera in closer set it up for a long term I don't know if I can be if I'll be able to compress two hours I may have to take chunks out of it out of the video but I'll be back with that the next thing you see will be the test going to see how long these things will burn okay so I'm set up uh, I've got the camera in closer so we can see now this is just my number two can that I had I didn't mess with the wick at all and let's see where this goes the end of it let me do a couple of checks here as far as what this can weighs at the end I'll weigh it and I'll be right back I'm back for those of you that are still watching this video I'm sorry that I put you all through this I realized it was kind of a long video but I hope you enjoyed the music another thing is I'm afraid this test maybe wasn't a good one three hour, a little bit over three hours well three hours and a minute long on a burn for a two hour can I think what happened was it just burning in the air wasn't a good test at versus if it had a pot over it where the pot was reflecting heat down and making it burn you know heating this up and making it burn faster but at least we saw what happens with the two hour canister in the air the weight on it the weight finished on this was 50.6 grams a little more than one and three quarter ounces but if you go back to the table or go down below for the table on this one this is the number two can it started at 134.1 grams if I subtract that 50.6 grams I get 83.5 grams <coughs> excuse me so 83.5 grams is how much fluid it's saying burned in this if you look on the side here it does say it's an 80 gram supply plus if you go back to my table down below on this can can number two it was 3.5 grams over the average weight which if you subtract 80 from here from the 83.5 you get 3.5 grams which is what I had set up there 3.52 grams don't know what that means but I guess what's supposed to be in here is 80 grams of fuel okay again I thank you for watching I hope we got something out of this at least we have an idea how long a can will burn the other thing like I said where I had emptied out that fuel from the other can all I have to do is poke a hole or drill a hole in this and then I can squirt it into another can and fill up the can so it has a double load in it but I again I thank you for watching I look forward to your input questions remarks helpful suggestions and as always watch for my buddy Max bye now